So, do we already introduce ourselves? Should we do it again for real? Who's gonna start? Peter. Hi, I'm Peter Chan, and I'm uh, the lead artist. He drew this. that painting right there, right? <laughs> yes, I did, yes. Okay. I'm Larry Ahern, lead animator. You killed that bird. And I think that was a Leela scene. Oh, okay. She's the animal killer. <laughs> I like the mustache trees in that last shot, Peter. I'm Tim Schaefer, co-project leader of this uh, lovely game. And I am Dave Grossman, other project leader and designer and writer, oh, along with Tim, of this lovely game. That should have been our titles, Co and Other. Co and Other, yeah. yeah. Clint Bajakian, one of the composers. Peter McConnell, one of the composers. Nonsense. Nice. It makes me feel great. The game has begun, you guys. Smarter. Okay, so we saw the lovely, what was the name of that classical music that plays during the opening Ros voice? Rossini, uh, William Tell Overture. It's the quiet part of the William Tell Overture. There's two classical pieces that mean mourning in cartoons. Yes, there's that one and then there's... And the other one is... That's from... Where is that from? I don't remember. It might be Pierre Gint or something like that. That's a good guess. It's not another place in the Rossini, is it? No, no, I think it's Pierre Gint. I think, I think... But for that opening scene with the music, we actually got the score and and, yeah. and sequenced uh, the ink into the uh, MIDI sequencer. Mm -hmm. That was one of the big panning sequences, like wide pieces of art for the game. Pan oh, the room over. shot? It was a double room? Mm -hmm. And I noticed there's a poster with an L from Laverne and Shirley on that poster back there. <laughs> Here's one of our giant animation scenes. How did you lip sync back then? Because we didn't have any like tool. Nowadays we use a tool for lip syncing. Do you just by hand? I think we just like, timed it out like the old fashioned timing sheet. Now that was for the cinematics, but for in game, wasn't it Eric Wilmunder? I thought it just blah, 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 chat. I think the in game was just on off with audio on off. Yeah, there's, there's no actual lip syncing for yeah. the majority of the game, so which just, is funny since I have gotten many compliments on the lip syncing for this game over <laughs> the years. Because, you know, it loops around and every percentage of the time it's on, right? Well, because I remember Eric. Yeah, I think Eric designed a, a, some kind of an algorithm for making the, the lips move to the, the vol level of volume. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. It, yeah, if there of the waveform. Of the waveform. Of the audio, waveform. It stops yeah. moving the lips. Yeah. That's true. Now these credits were done by Kyle Balda. That's you're right. You're entirely on his internship? Yep. So wait, do we not pay for these he, credits? Uh, or did we pay for them? Time. He got paid, right? I think so, yeah. He took time. This is Peter, the other Peter. Um, we took time uh, out of CalArts. He came and... Uh... Now this is the first fight I had with Peter McConnell. Do you remember this, Peter? Yes. I, I was going to... You were going to mention that? You were going to remember it. Because the opening cutscene was too long, and we, and we always had a problem with too long opening cutscenes. And so we were like, let's split it in half and put an interactive sequence. So there's an interactive sequence that's about to start. But I seem to remember it was the wrong time of day for you, because it's nighttime outside. It started in the daytime with the mutation scene, then it became nighttime. Right. But then what happened, that, then it turned into daytime at the end. That's what bothered you, because the music couldn't make that transition in your mind. Yeah, I, I, well, I think mostly I was I was crabby because, because you know, we had to, eat the, the cut scene. And the interactivity required a bunch of programming in iMuse. And I'd finished it one, <laughs> one way, <laughs> mm -hmm. and and then you changed it to another, and so I think I came up with some sort of artistic argument that <laughs> had had to do with daylight like that, and and uh, but but that was an important thing to learn running a project to not change the after someone spent hours and hours making something. Well, it was also an important thing to learn that. not to step way out of your bailiwick and tell the the guy who's writing the scene how to write the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, there are bailiwicks all over the place in this game. <laughs> I don't want to carry those people around in my wallet. It's closed.
Ho 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 Hoagie's got that part of the house. Hoagie's got that part of the house. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! To the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogen! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Well, I'll be. And then there's the porta potties uh, vessels. Chrono Johns. Yep. Chrono Johns. Chrono Johns. This, by the way, is an amazing full screen animation before it was possible to do full screen. Yeah. And not actually animated. That's all. The background's all color cycling. It's all color cycling. A lost art in the world of. Uh, I forgot about graphics. that. Now that yeah. computers work like they should, you don't have to do that stuff anymore. You know, if you look at Mark Ferrari's website, not that Mark Ferrari worked on this game, but he was a master of color cycling. And he has a whole website where he's done it in a more high-end way, like like with high, higher res color cycling. He get, he just kept perfecting that to higher and higher resolutions. Yeah, that stuff was crazy. He was into it, and then I think Bill Eakin was the one that inherited the mantle from him when he left. All the lava in Indy 4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. See, color cycling. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, so that was like two, three frame animations. A little surf music for Hoagie. We always yeah. had a place for surf music in our games. That, the totally. bone wagon theme. Yep. That's right. I think that was, I think that surf music was yours. Probably. That was mine, yeah. yeah. I, did, I did that last little sequence there. Yeah, you know, the, the, the uh, musically, this I believe was the last project that we all worked on, to, certainly the last original title that we all worked on together sort of equally as composers where there was no lead composer and we all pretty You're much right. panicked and freaked out together. Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. 
Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. There, it's off. But it's too late now. I think it's designed to run with something. More like a small rodent. You who, Dr. Fred? The plans! The plans! Now where did Dr. Fred go? Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? Yes, that's right. I knew it! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? It's a secret. I can't tell you. A secret, eh? How exciting! Well, I won't rat you out, hot stuff! <laughs> How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> Creepy. Must be an Edison. Aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. 
My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. I see no reason to torment the little guy. Hey, don't touch my stamps. Hello, little computer. I respect you, even though you've only got 64K of memory. I've got one just like this packed away in the garage. Jeepers! I can see the roof and some Christmas lights. I wouldn't want to strain myself. I wouldn't want to strain myself. Welcome Novelty Goods Convention. Wow, a pulley! By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage by changing the direction of motion and the applied force. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. It's stuck. A 
A shaft is normally attached here to supply a rotary motive force which is transmitted up the pole. What on earth am I going to do with a flagpole? Sounds like fun, but I've got work to do. I can't, it's stuck. It's stuck! I don't think that would look better white. Nah. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. It's Dr. Fred's office. Nothing going on in there. Get away from that! It looks awful heavy. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this town. I'm just a failure. I can't see it very well from here. I can't see it very well. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's going to go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? You haven't seen Dr. Fred's plans for a super battery around, have you? No, just these world domination plans of Purple's. Any of Fred's plans would probably be in his office or the lab. Wanna help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. Getting back out of it is hard. See you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world. 
Hoagie would really love the... It's too heavy for me to pick up. It's too heavy for me to pick up. It looks too heavy for me to pick up. He's my friend. It's too heavy. No, the stereo would fall. It won't budge. Mmm, plenty of wattage in this stereo. I can't wait to try my 8-tracks in it. Wow, this is loud. It's too heavy for me to pick up. It's too heavy for me to pick up. It looks too heavy for me to pick up. I don't think I can do that. This beautiful 4,000. Hi there. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be $2 million. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. I don't have that. Ahem. Late night? You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? I wonder where Dr. Fred could have put them. Nice room you've got here. It reminds me of the greeting card store I used to work at. Well, thanks. You've been... It's pretty darn cold. No way, there's things in there that look like they've been there for years. Doesn't anyone ever clean this thing? It is open.
it's already kind of chilly. Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. I guess not too many birds bathe in the evening. No way! He's too heavy! Hi! Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. See you later. Yeah. It's really dirty. It's not my car. I think it's locked. Someone wrote, wash me in the dust. Some... Oh. Uh-huh. How about that? Someone wrote, wash me in the dust. Some people think that washing one's vehicle will make it rain. Oh. Uh-huh. How about that? It's really dirty. It's empty. You looking at me? Are you looking at me? Then who are you? I hate that clown. My, what a big coffee maker. It's already perking away. The Duke Memorial Brand Microwave. I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage.
It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. You put quarters into the dryer there. This is as open as it gets. It looks pretty broken. I don't think this thing will ever work again. It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. Decaf wouldn't help. I'd rather not. Air conditioning, I guess. Hey, boy! You Hands off, boy! That's a precision-made novelty device! Disgusting! No use in doing that, it's empty. No use in doing that, it's empty. Slippery little devil. Jumpy little sucker. 